Good morning. We'll try to solve a few numerical problems based on the consolidation of soil. Question number one. In a lab test, the void ratio for an effective stress 85 kPa was 1.0 and the void ratio for an effective stress increased value 462 kPa is 0.8. What would be the void ratio for an effective stress of 600 kPa? So initially you have a soil whose void ratio is 1 at effective stress 85 and as the effective stress increases to 462 the void ratio turns out to be 0 0.8. You're asked to find the void ratio for an effective stress, let's mark sigma 3, at 600 kPa. So basically we need to think about an equation that connects void ratio and effective stress. Thinking about which we have CC compression index equal to delta E by log sigma dash by sigma naught dash or change in void ratio by logarithm of change in effective stress. 1 changes to 0.8 when 85 changes to 462. So substituting you will get CC as 0 0.271. So this value of CC will remain constant which means it is applicable to the change in effective stress from 462 to 600 as well. So you have CC equal to E1 minus E3 by log sigma 1 by sigma 3 as well, where E3 is an unknown value and 600 kilopascal is a new effective stress and CC remains constant. So you can write 0.271 value of cc equal to 1 minus e3 by logarithm of 600 by 85. Solving e3 turns out to be 0 0.77. Question number 2. A normally consolidated clay settled 2 cm when the effective stress was increased from 100 to 200 kPa. Find the settlement when the effective stress is increased to 400 kPa. This question is quite similar to the previous one. You are given with two effective stresses, 100 and 200. When the stress changed from 100 to 200, the clay settled 2 cm. You are asked to find the settlement when the stress is increased further to reach 400 kPa. So we need to think about an equation connecting the effective stress and settlement. You have settlement equal to cc by 1 plus e naught h log sigma naught plus delta sigma naught by sigma naught, where sigma naught is the original stress and sigma naught plus delta sigma naught is a new stress. So, in short, 100 is the denominator and 200 is a numerator when sc equal to 2 centimeters, or I can write. 0.02 meters equal to cc by 1 plus e naught h log 200 by 100. Now cc by 1 plus e naught h is a constant. I can write it as k. So 0 0.02 equal to k log 200 by 100. Now our intention is to get the settlement when the stress is 400 kPa or when the numerator is 400 and the denominator is 100, what would be the settlement? Let's say S, the unknown settlement, equal to same K log 400 by 100 because CC, E0 and H are constants for this particular case. So I have two equations, 0 0.02 equal to k log 200 by 100 and an unknown s equal to k log 400 by 100. Solving, you will get s as 0 0.04 meters. Question number 3. Calculate the final settlement of a clay layer shown in figure due to an increase in pressure of 30 kPa or 30 kN per meter square. Also, Calculate the settlement when the water table rises to the ground level. 
So you have a sand layer whose unit weight is given as 20 kN per meter cube. Thickness is 4 meter. Below which you have a clay layer. Unit weight 18 kN per meter cube. CC compression index 0.22. E0 void ratio. The initial void ratio being 1.3. And the total thickness of the clay layer is 2.5 meters. So the expression connecting settlement with the properties of clay layer is cc by 1 plus e0 h log sigma0 plus delta sigma0 by sigma0 where sigma0 is the effective overburden pressure in kilopascal delta sigma0 is a change in effective stress due to an applied load in this case 30 kN per meter square h is the height of the clay layer in meters in this case 2.5 meter e0 is the initial void ratio 1.3 in this case and cc is a compression index 0.22 in this particular example so all the values h e naught and cc and delta sigma naught is already given in the question directly one thing that we need to work out is sigma naught or effective overburden pressure so i have written the values here cc equal to 0.22 E0 equal to 1.3, H equal to 2.5. Now, to get sigma 0 or effective overburden pressure, I've marked a line here, the center line of the clay layer. Because the total thickness of the clay layer is 2.5, and the settlement at the top of this clay layer will be higher, and the bottom of this clay layer will be lower. So, we are interested to get an average value, which is at the center of the clay layer so i've marked a line along the center line of the clay layer which is 4 plus 1.25 meter from the ground level so we are actually interested in the in the effective overburden stress at this center line of the clay layer so thinking about the effective overburden pressure at the center line of the clay layer we have four meters of sand whose unit weight is 20 kN per meter cube and 1.25 meters of clay whose unit weight is 18 kN per meter cube. Water table is not given in the question. Part B of the question is when the water table rises to the ground level. In this particular part, water table is nowhere near. So you have 4 into 20 plus 1.25 into 18 is the effective overburden pressure. 4 into 20 plus 1.25 into 18 which is 102.5 kilo, 102 kilopascals and delta sigma naught the change in effective stress is already given in the question as 30 kilopascals so you have cc you have e naught you have h you have sigma naught and delta sigma naught substituting in this equation you will get settlement as 0 0.0263 meters just like I remind you, you'll have to work out this on your own and try to see if whether you are getting a similar answer. Now, part B of the question, you have the water table at the ground level like this. So the only difference is that sand will be saturated and clay will be saturated. And to find the effective overburden stress, you need to take gamma dash and not gamma you need to take gamma dash so you have 4 multiplied by 20 minus 10 10 plus 1.25 multiplied by 18 minus 10 which is 8 so I have taken gamma W as 10 kN per meter cube so gamma minus gamma W in the sand layer and gamma minus gamma W in the clay layer so I have 4 multiplied by 10 plus 1.25 multiplied by 8 so sigma naught dash or the effective overburden stress is 50 kilopascal delta sigma naught is same as the previous question 30 kilopascal substituting you'll get settlement as 0.0488 meters